Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to auto install OnCloud onto a Raspberry Pi. For this tutorial, I'll be using Diet Pi instead of Raspbian as I've done in the past. There's no codes needed to install OnCloud. I'm also going to be showing you how to mount an external hard drive for additional storage capacity and how to access your own cloud instance from outside the network using your mobile device as if we as if you would any other cloud. For this tutorial I'm using the Canakit Starter Kit Raspberry Pi with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. You can find the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Insert the micro SD into the uh, micro SD card reader and plug it onto the PC. Make sure it's being read by the PC before continuing. First, we're going to need the uh, Diet Pi image. You can find the link in the description box below. Go to the download section and select Diet Pi. I'm sorry, Raspberry Pi. Download the image. You're also going to need 7-zip to unzip this uh, file. Again, all the links are in the description box below. Now download and install Win32 Disk Imager. I'm not going to go through that because I have already installed. Okay, now go to the Downloads folder and here you'll find the uh, 7-zip file you just downloaded. Right click and extract here. This will unzip a IMG file. Here it is. Now we need to write that to the uh, micro SD card. To do that, we're going to use Win32 Disk Imager. I'll go ahead and run it. And to the right, click on that little folder icon and browse to select that IMG we just extracted. Under device, make sure that the drive letter pretending to the USB is there, none other, and then click on write. Yes. This will write the content of the IMG to the USB, like I said previously. Properly eject that micro SD card from your PC and insert it onto the Raspberry Pi. Now, before I continue, Make sure that you plug that Raspberry Pi to a monitor, keyboard, mouse, Ethernet, then insert that micro SD card and leave the power for last. It makes things much easier to configure. Trust me. You'll be prompted immediately with the IP address and all information needed. Write it down and log in using the default uh, login, which is root and then password diet pie. Here, click on enter. I'm not going to change or adjust any password. So I'll click on cancel for this video tutorial. Cancel here too. The diet pie will auto update itself. This can take quite some time. So go grab coffee and then come back. I'm going to opt out of the survey. and then restart. Okay, upon restart, you'll see this screen. Here, using the arrow keys, go down to software optimize, hit enter, and then again, go down until you'll find own cloud, select it by placing, pressing the space bar, and then tab, okay, or enter, and then again, using your arrow keys all the way down to install, hit enter, tab, enter. And again, this can take quite some time. The good thing about this is that it all always install the latest version of own cloud and you don't have to put any code whatsoever. Once done again, reboot. And now go into another computer in the network and then type http colon forward slash forward slash IP address of your Raspberry Pi forward slash on cloud. You'll be prompted with this screen. The default username and password is admin 
DietPy. In case the password doesn't work, I'll show you how to reset the password. Also, if you're adding an external hard drive for additional storage capacity, I don't recommend you log in just yet. Keep that in mind. If you're planning on adding an external hard drive for additional storage capacity, do not log in. I'm also going to show you how to get the regular setup screen because this screen is kind of like for newbies. The setup screen is completely different. Now let's start with the first. Let's go ahead. Just in case your password don't work, you can always go back to the terminal and enter the following command. Bear with me here while I reconnect. Okay. All the commands, you can find it on my website. Again, the link is in the description box below. Here, enter the new password and then confirm. Once you have uh, reset the password, you can come back and enter the new password. Now to get the regular setup screen, we're going to need that in case you're uh, uh, mounting uh, an external hard drive. So to do that, enter the following. Again, you can find all these commands in my website. We need to delete the config.php. Now go back to your own cloud instance, refresh, and this is the regular setup screen. Okay, now let's continue on to mounting that external hard drive. First, we need to create a MySQL. So enter the following MySQL uh, dash u root dash p diet pi. Hit enter. Now create a database. I'm going to name this own underscore cloud because you can create uh, an own cloud database because it's already created. Now here we're going to grant a uh, privilege on own underscore cloud to OC admin and then the password identified by one, two, three, four, five. You can change that password to something other than one, two, three, four, five. Once done, hit enter and exit. Awesome. Okay, I have plugged in a portable 300 gigabyte uh, USB to my Raspberry Pi. If you haven't already plugged in your external hard drive, this would be a good time. My hard drive, I usually have them formatted NTFS all of my drives because that way if something ever goes wrong with my diet pie I can easily plug it on to a PC and have access to all my cloud information something else is that if you have an internal drive laying around there you can also use that I'll show you how now this is an internal drive I have laying around this is a 240 gigabyte SSD all I need is a serial ATA cable to USB, this one here. That's it. And you can plug the hard drive to the serial ATA and then plug it onto the Raspberry Pi. That simple. Done. Okay, now let's make this uh, Raspberry Pi read NTFS uh, drives. So enter the following command. The reason behind making this Raspberry Pi read NTFS formatted drives is because most of the hard drive or external hard drive are pre-formatted NTFS. And if something ever happens to my Raspberry, I can easily unplug that external hard drive, plug it onto a PC and have access to all my files. Done. Now enter the following command. This command is to be able to see installed hard drives to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, under device, you see def SDA1 pertaining to my uh, external hard drive, which is a 300 gigabyte NTFS. Awesome. Now let's create a directory so we can mount that drive to. In this case, I'll create a directory called own cloud drive. So sudo mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash on cloud drive. 
just like you see it there. And now let's mount that external hard drive to that directory. sudo mount dev sda1 to mnt on cloud drive. Now let's create a data user and add it to the data group. So enter the following. Let's add proper permissions to that group so they can read, write, execute. Done. Now we need the GID and the UID of the user data. So enter the following. That's the uh, GID and the UID. Now we need the uh, UUID of the external hard drive. So enter the following command. Here you'll find uh, the uh, UUID pertaining to that SDA1 external hard drive. We need to write that down because we're going to modify the FS tab. Now we need to enter a code in the FS tab. So enter nano for slash etc FS tab. And here go all the way down and enter the following line. Okay, the UUID, obviously, yours would be different than the one I have. So make sure that from that code that you copy to enter your UUID. And also the directory, if you use a different directory. Mine says MNT on cloud drive. Now go ahead and save and exit. Then reboot your diet pie. Upon reboot, head over to the... Um, on cloud interface again and here enter the following so as admin i left everything default password is diet pie the data folder is the one we created for slash mnt for slash on cloud drive database user is oc underscore admin database password one two three four five database name is own underscore cloud and then finish setup Re-enter your username and password. Done. We have successfully logged into our own cloud and is currently writing onto our external hard drive. If I go to photos here, I have three images. Now to make sure that it's writing to the directory, enter the following command to the Raspberry Pi, sudo ls mnt on cloud drive. And here you'll find some on cloud uh, files. Now, if I want to make sure that it's writing uh, the images to the photos directory, just enter the following MNT on cloud drive, admin files, photo, those three images should be there. Yep. Okay, to access our on cloud instance using our mobile device or from outside of our network, we need to modify the config.php. And we need to enter our WAN IP address. <clears throat> so we need to Google what is my IP. It should be prompted immediately. If not, you can go to one of those links and it'll, they'll give you your WAN IP address. Now with that information, remember to write it down and enter the following command. Nano space for slash VAR dub 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 on cloud config config.php and hit enter. Now using your arrow keys, go all the way down under the number zero, enter one greater than, and then the WAN IP address you just got. Exactly like the one on top using the commas and everything. Now go down and where it says overwrite that CLI, that URL, replace that IP address with the WAN IP address. So we should look HTTP colon forward slash forward slash one IP address on cloud. Save and exit. Now uh, log into your router and locate uh, port forwarding. In my case is application and gaming. In your case, it might be something other than that. So I'll name it, I'll name it on cloud and then external port 80 
internal port 80, use both protocols, the IP address of the Raspberry Pi enabled, and save. Now we can access our own cloud instance from outside our network or using our mobile device. Just enter http colon forward slash forward slash WAN IP address forward slash on cloud and hit enter. Then enter your username and password. If you notice here it says connection not secure, that's because I have not yet found a way to enable SSL for free using Diet Pi. But meanwhile, keep in mind that it's your connection and you're the only one connecting to it. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.